please hit that subscribe button. Hey, everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup this season. If you are new to the channel, Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scored. And we're live. Hey, everybody. So in the midst of all the wild and crazy trade action today going on in the NHL, we have a signing to talk about. Jake Muzzin is staying with the Toronto Maple Leafs for the next four years. He was a pending UFA at the end of this season. Toronto has locked him up uh, for the foreseeable future. Before I, before I fully get into this video and my analysis, um, I just quickly want to say to please hit that subscribe button and follow along for all of my hockey content. And please hit that like button and give this video a thumbs up. Both of those things really help the channel a lot and are very much appreciated. So Jake Muzzin staying in uh, in Toronto on a four-year deal worth $5.625 million per year. Um, that is a pay raise over what he was making. I believe his deal now, he's making $4 million per season. So he does get a, a significant pay raise of over a million and a half to stay with Toronto. But um, I really have to say I love this deal for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Jake Muzzin is their best defensive defenseman. And that's an issue for the Maple Leafs. That is, that's probably their biggest problem is their defense actually playing defense. They have so many offensive defensemen there and guys who are supposed to score points. But they have a lot of guys who really, really struggle in their own end and play really poorly defensively, turn the puck over a lot. And, and that's been an issue for the Maple Leafs now for the past three years, you know, since they've been one of those top teams who just can't seem to go anywhere in the playoffs. Listen, Jake Muzzin is already on the team. He, this isn't an improvement for the Toronto Maple Leafs. This doesn't, you know, make them better go, you know, going into the, the rest of the season, but it locks up their best defensive defenseman. And one one of the only players on that team that plays well in their own zone. And you know, a, a pretty solid value. He's going he's a top 4 guy. He's going to continue to be a top 4 guy. Um he can chip in offense here or there, but he's not a big point scorer. But this move is about defense. And what is the biggest issue with the Toronto Maple Leafs? Defense. Muzzin actually plays it. So this is this is huge for Toronto to get him locked up and make sure that they don't lose him, um, to, that they didn't lose him to free agency and that they keep him in Toronto because really... Who else do they have that plays defense? I mean, I could do a whole other video on Toronto's inactivity at the deadline this year. I thought they were going to improve their, their defense core, add a top four guy and try and make a run, but they didn't do that. Um, I think that pretty much seals the deal on this season for the Maple Leafs. Uh, if you're a Maple Leafs fan, I'm sorry to say that, but I really think them not adding a top defenseman at the deadline this year really kind of seals the deal on this season. Toronto, if they do make the playoffs, is going to be one and done again. They may not even make the playoffs. That team is so bad defensively. Um, but Jake Muzzin's one of the few bright spots. He's one of the few bright spots at you know playing defense for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So I think it was very important that they get him re-signed. Uh, I think it's very, very, um, a very, very good deal for the Maple Leafs. Somebody, somebody that they needed to keep around. So. Uh, among all the craziness today, this signing by Toronto is a very good one. $5.625 million per season over the next four years for Jake Muzzin. Top four guy, best defensive defenseman that they have. And um, as, as somebody who is going to be an important player for the Maple Leafs down the road. So that's my opinion on that. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to my Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.